Well, good morning, my friends. How are you today? Yep, we are still in Madrid. We are having a blast, and today we are going to go to one of the greatest museums in the world called the Prado Museum. I'm really excited to check this out because the Prado Museum is considered by a lot of people the second best museum for art in the world right behind the Louvre. It's uh, the National Museum of Art for Spain. They have some of the greatest painters in history are displayed in here going back to the 12th century. So I can't wait to check this out. Uh, online it said that sometimes it can take more than even a day because it's that big. So we'll see as much as we can. I know it'll be uh, eye-popping, mind-boggling, and inspiring if nothing else. So days with Jordan the Lion, let's go see some art. Here's a fantastic statue of Isabel II. Yeah, that statue right there is King Carlos III. I think I want to get one of those. I just walked right into this guy before I realized he was a statue. Well, he's doing his part, cleaning up. And right there is the Teatro Calderon, which is showing West Side Story right now. Kind of want to stop in here and eat before we go into any museums. It's going to be quite a while while we're in there. Let's try this out, because this thing looks pretty good. Well, the one that I wanted on the menu, they actually didn't have anymore, so now we're trying this one. More paella. Ooh. This guy's doing the Hulk Hogan move. Wow. Is that a Lichtenstein? Now check this out. You know how I always tell you guys, you know, if you can, go to cities that you can walk because you never know what you'll find? Well, when we were in Mexico, we did an entire museum to Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra, the man who wrote Don Quixote, and I believe we just found one of his residents. Or where they published his book. That right there is case in point why I love to go to cities where I don't have to rent a car and I can just walk that were made for walking. <laughs> Speaking of, it says this is a charity shop and they've made little fish out of colored plates. Take a look at this up in the windows. All right, we finally made it to the museum. Museum de Prado. And yes, they have some Goya. They actually have some of the Goya from the Black Period, as they called it, when he was just putting all of his art right directly onto the walls. Well, here's your cliff notes as to who we're gonna see. This is Bellini. Well, we are done with the museum already. Almost immediately, they told me I couldn't take photos. Now, the problem with that is that when I bought the ticket, I had my camera in my hand. They never said I couldn't take photos. And when I went through the line, um, through the metal detectors and security and everything, I looked at their sign that said, um, no flash. So, I don't know what the problem was. So. Um, the whole point of bringing you here was to show you things. If I can't show you, then we're going to leave. And we're actually, this is part of what they call a golden triangle of museums. So there's actually two other really great museums around here. So we'll go find another one that will let us take photos. So they gave me my money back. And when they were doing that, the lady said, if you want to take photos, go to this other museum. And she said, they'll let you take photos almost everywhere except for one place. So we're going to head over there. I'm shocked we couldn't take photos in there to say the least, because when I was researching for this, I found all kinds of photos of the paintings and things and articles all over the place online. The statue of Velasquez is great. What do we have here? What the heck kind of animal is that? Look at the side of this building I just found. 
all the different flowers and everything on there. So here's our new destination, Museum Reina Sofia. The big elevator has the name of our museum on it, so let's go. To be honest, this could totally be a uh, blessing in disguise because this is a totally different type of museum than old time paintings. And to be honest, I'm not really in the mood for old time paintings anymore. After walking through there, I think this will be a whole lot more fun. There's some projection art. And there's a lot going on in here. Dude, that's awesome. This one's called the background of Pollock. It's got all of his influences. Check this out. All the horses. I love this series. This is really, really well done. Oh, wow. That's all found object art. This one's called the Cold War. And this big one's a Picasso. This is kind of interesting. It has a lot of found objects in it, including a broken horn and a picture of Billie Holiday. This is incredible. This one kind of reminds me of Snoopy when he's the Red Baron. Now we've got something over here. Let's see what he's doing. to come out to the garden. I wanted to see what this was. Let's take this crazy elevator. Here we go, four floors up. More Picasso. There's a Picasso. That's another very interesting Picasso.
Wow, that's quite a collection. That's interesting. The giraffe on fire. Great legs. Frog hurtling. Those are all made with paint dots. So big that they actually look like they're all thumbtacks. This looks like crochet art, but it's also painted. This room is really interesting. Look at these giant glass plates inside. Is the art. These are all figures of women. <laughs> this one's called the little black cage and it looks like a workout prison room for a rat Popeye the dance of death Well, my friends, I think I'm going to call it a day here. I want to thank Lindy Rafik and Malia Garcia for becoming new Patreons. And I hope you guys enjoyed today. It didn't exactly go as I planned, but I think it probably worked out better because I got to walk through quite a bit of uh, the Prado before I left. And it was great art, but it was old art. And I just felt like seeing something kind of younger today, and we did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great night. Come back and see me tomorrow. You won't be disappointed. See you then. Goodbye.